Sam Plu here, and um, have you ever had a problem uh, connecting to voice chats with people, or uh, you have a problem connecting to certain games, or sometimes you just can't hear people when you get into certain games, and you're like, damn, you ain't got a headset? Well, there's something to fix that, because uh, it's a problem. You know, there's times when I want to play with my friends, and I'm trying to send them invites, like, oh, I can't get in. It's like, what the fuck? I can't get in. Um, or there's times when I want to do a voice chat with somebody. You know, we got a couple people doing a voice chat. Try to invite somebody and they can't get in. Well, I have something to remedy that uh, situation. Um, a post on the PlayStation.com forums was put up about it. I'll have a link to it in the description. And pretty much I'm going to be going on about I'm going to make a video pretty much about that. If you want to see it in text form, go ahead and check out the uh, the link in the description. I'm also going to put in um, some other tutorials on doing it with other routers um, in the description as well, such as D-Link uh, routers, Belkin routers, uh, Motorola router, and um, Linksys. Um, actually, what I'm going through right now uh, on this video is going to be using Linksys routers as an example. Now, what you have to understand is, is that um, not every router is exactly the same, but usually if you get a Linksys router or a Belkin router or whatever, even if it's not that same exact model number, it has a similar layout and you pretty much go about it the same basic way um, once you understand what your default gateway is, your DNS server, your subnet mask, and your um, router's IP address. All right, so uh, pretty much let's get into this. Okay, now using Linksys as an example for this video. All right, and you would do you would do this first step pretty much for any route that you have. Uh, actually, before I go on to this, I know some people have DSL, and DSL is a little a little different because a lot of um, DSL services, the ISPs, they'll actually give you um, a modem router combo, so you mainly just have one box. And everything is off of that box um, basically I would say the easiest way to um, fix that problem is to basically uh, find out what your um, routers IP address is uh, use your computer put in the IP address into your um, URL box on your um, web browser and then um, when you do that it's gonna ask you for a login and password Use your login and password as admin, A-D-M-I-N, and your password is admin also. And then just make sure you set your router on bridge mode and use a separate router to hook up to that. And then you should be you should be good um, that way with uh, getting a NAT type 2 and uh, following these steps. Um, also, another thing is that um, a lot of people say, oh, just put your PS3 on DMZ. That doesn't work for everybody. Uh, some people do do does claim that that works for um for for a lot of people, but um, I know firsthand that it does not work for everyone. Okay, so DMZ can work if you set your PS3 mode on DMZ, but sometimes it just doesn't. So I'm gonna go through this with port forwarding for uh for these routers. Um, okay, now first thing you would do is um, hit the start menu. If you have um, Vista or Windows 7, you hit the Windows icon. But with XP, you hit the Start menu and then hit Run. And then in that little command prompt, you would go ahead and type ipconfig slash all. Now, you, then you press Enter. The screen will pop up, kind of looking like uh, MS DOS in a way. And then it'll give you all this information. Now. Basically, what you're going to jot down from, from everything that you see is uh, write down a default gateway, uh, DNS servers, only the first two, and uh, the subnet mask. After that, you can close it. If you only see one DNS server, you can use um, OpenDNS.com, and you can sign up for the free uh, OpenDNS and basically they'll go ahead and give you a second one. Um, but you should get two right off the uh, right off the bat. All right, now after that, you go to your PS3 and you select uh, 
network settings under the system menu. Then uh, you select internet connections and um, uh, go ahead and go through the, the process of setting up a new internet, internet connection. So if you have wireless, set a wireless. If you have wired, wired, set up to wired. Um, instead of using easy, you want to use uh, custom. Okay, and then you keep then you keep keep hitting right to go through all the processes. Now, um, when you get to um, setting up your IP address and all the other information, it'll ask you if you want to do it uh, automatic or manual. Hit manual. Now, when you get there, uh, it's going to ask you for uh, primary DNS. Uh, it's going to ask you for secondary DNS gonna ask you for a default router or default gateway it might say either or and it's gonna ask you for um, subnet mask and it's gonna ask you for your IP address all right now this is where that information is gonna come and club come in handy because in the primary DNS you want to put that first DNS number that you saw that you wrote down first and then the secondary DNS you want to put down the second DNS number that came in second all right now for the default router slash gateway um, for Linksys routers this is why you got to find out what your router IP is for Linksys routers it's 192.168.1.1 if you need to find out your IP address for your router uh, if you have a different router um, you can call the company and find out what it is you can look in your uh, routers instruction manual and find out what it is you can even look on Google and find out what is the IP address for you know whatever router you have Vulcan routers or whatever and you would put that there and then for enter the subnet mask you would go ahead and put the subnet mask that you wrote down for your uh, for your Linksys router there um, and then for your um, IP address your IP address basically is similar to your default router that you're going to put there and, and you know the number series you're going to put for your default router it's just that the last number would be something else like a 23 or 25 and such and basically when you do that it's um giving your ps3 a static ip so basically for an example um you would put um for your ip address you'll put 192.168.1.23 or dot 25 you know uh, basically giving its own independent static IP and by doing this you'll notice that um, your connection speed uploading and downloading to PSN will be a hell of a lot faster a hell of a lot faster you will notice this when it does the connection test all right, now after that, um, after you go ahead and go through all that, uh, just keep hitting right, accept everything, save your settings, and then you want to go back onto your computer. And what you need to do is go ahead and put in your router's IP into your uh, URL and your web browser. And press enter now usually like I was saying before your router will um, automatically have admin admin as your login and your password um, if it's not like that then most likely at some point it was changed by someone or yourself all right now I'm gonna go ahead and put up this picture for um, the ports that you need to forward now this these are pretty much this is pretty much a layout that you need to have when you get into your router um, basically you should see a, um, a section called port forwarding or applications and gaming or something along those lines but basically you're trying to get to the port forwarding section in the Linksys routers you have to hit applications and gamings and as soon as you do that it'll come up to the port forwarding uh, section um, well <clears throat> excuse me now when you're there you want to go ahead where it says application go ahead and put in a, um, a name so you can identify that it is your PlayStation okay and then pretty much the the start to end ports is exactly what you can put in there for the ports that you need to forward 
uh, putting in all the um, information exactly like you see on the picture is perfectly fine. The message pretty much is to get across is that those are the ports and the protocols that you need to put in to uh, forward your ports on your PS3 to be able to hear, connect, and play with everyone on the PlayStation. It's not completely necessary to have the person that you connect with to do the same thing also. As long as the person that is hosting the room or the game or whatnot is has these connections, then anybody should be able to connect to you. Um, but that's pretty much it, y'all. Hope y'all got a good um, you know information out of this. Check out the links in the description to see other ways of forwarding your ports for different routers. And check out the main link I have to see other discussions about this on the PlayStation.com forums. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace.